I was in two minds really about this Saudi Arabian takeover of Newcastle United. Now, I know there's a lot of discussions about greed and achievement and success in football. A lot of people are of the opinion that as soon as Sky got involved and the Premier League was created and the game kind of became more about money than about competition, that football had sold its soul to the devil. The Red Devils, of course, being Manchester United. But the question that I think bothered me more and bothered a lot of people about the, I think it's called the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, was they had to ignore the fact that the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, who runs the country, also happens to run the fund. And yet the conclusion of it was it's not a state-backed enterprise or investment. I found that peculiar on its own. But what became, I think, more apparent from the reaction of other fans were two things. And this is where I was trying to dig a little bit more beneath the surface. You see, on the surface, the reaction other teams had was one of, like, pure jealousy. It was a question of, well, why can't we do this? Tottenham fans, I'm a Spurs fan. We've spent 20 years trying to get to where Newcastle have just got in 20 minutes. And there's a bit of jealousy there, well, why couldn't it have been us? And you heard that from a lot of, a lot of fans, but they dressed that up in a moral argument, which was, we're gonna hide our jealousy for one second and actually take this strong moral stance against the fact that it's Saudi Arabia who have invested in a British football club. And their argument was, because of the, let's say, questionable human rights record that goes on in Saudi Arabia, we're against this investment, we're against this deal. We see this a lot in society nowadays, where what is actually quite a superficial argument is given a moral spin to take on almost this religious righteousness, as if to say, I have the moral high ground and therefore I'm right, even though the motive of my argument is actually something quite shallow. But I think it's important not to give up hope at this point and to actually remember in Judaism there's a concept that goes something like this, metoch shelo lishma, bo lishma, which means sometimes even though our motives are not amazing, if we can attach them to something that is morally pure, it can lead us in the right direction. And I believe firmly that if people don't forget the fact that ultimately there is an argument to be made from a moral standpoint against this takeover of Newcastle United, the fact that it maybe comes from jealousy eventually won't matter.